What if I told you, the chair you're sitting on, your own body, everything you see, is almost entirely empty? In fact, if you could squeeze all the emptiness out of the atoms in every human on Earth, our entire species would fit inside a single sugar cube. You might remember atoms from high school, the small, hard balls that snap together to make everything. But those simple textbook images, they hid a bizarre and beautiful secret. An atom is almost nothing like a tiny solar system. So what's really inside an atom? The answer will completely change how you see the world. Let's start by shrinking you down, way, way down. Imagine you're smaller than a grain of sand, smaller than a cell, until you're so tiny you can step inside a single atom. You look around, what do you find? You might expect to see a hard little core with miniature planets, electrons, orbiting like marbles around the sun. That was our first guess, a hundred years ago. But if you could peek inside an atom today, prepare for a shock. Most of what you'd see is nothing, pure, glorious emptiness. If an atom were a soccer stadium, the nucleus would be a single P at the center. The electrons? Fleeting clouds at the very edge. So far away, the rest of the stadium is completely empty air. Wait, if atoms are 99.99999% empty space, what holds everything together? Why don't we fall right through the floor or pass through walls like ghosts? It gets even stranger. Because when you truly look inside an atom, you discover a world of shimmering probabilities, not solid objects. The foundation of your phone, your food, your family, made of things that are mostly, well, not there. Isn't that a little bit magical? Let's break it down. Start at the nucleus, the P in the soccer stadium. It's incredibly tiny, but almost unimaginably dense. Nearly all of the atom's mass, its weight, is squeezed into this minuscule core. The rest? Just space. Now, inside the nucleus, you find protons and neutrons. Picture them like tightly packed berries in a tiny basket. But even these aren't the fundamental pieces. If you could zoom in even further, each proton and neutron is made of three even smaller particles. Quarks, held together by the strong force, nature's ultimate superglue. Move outwards, and things get weird. Electrons aren't marbles whizzing around. Instead, picture a mist or a buzzing, invisible cloud, a probability haze that tells us where an electron is likely to appear, never exactly where it actually is. It's like trying to locate a hummingbird in a fog. Sometimes here, sometimes there, never perfectly still. But what keeps all these parts from flying apart? The answer, powerful forces. The positive nucleus and the negative electrons are locked together by electromagnetism. Think of tiny, statically charged magnets snapping toward each other. Meanwhile, the strong force glues those quarks inside the nucleus so tightly that if you tried to pull them apart, you'd unleash the energy of a nuclear explosion. And here's the kicker. The emptiness inside atoms is the reason why everything can move, flex, and change. It lets your DNA twist, your muscles flex, your phone screen light up, all because, at its purest level, matter is like a ghostly scaffolding with unimaginable strength. Yet despite all this emptiness, atoms never truly touch. Try pressing your hands together. What you're actually feeling is the clouds of electrons around your atoms repelling each other, like invisible cushions keeping everything just the right distance apart. So next time someone tells you atoms are like tiny solar systems, you'll know the truth.
They're more like swirling clouds in a colossal, empty cathedral. Not solid orbs, but wild, ever-shifting structures shaped by rules far stranger than anything in our everyday world. Inside every atom, you'll find a dense nucleus, elusive electrons, and enough empty space to swallow the imagination. But the real secret isn't just what is inside an atom, it's how the emptiness and energy allow the universe to exist at all. Just think, right now, trillions of atoms are buzzing inside your body. Each one is mostly nothing, but together they make you. A walking, thinking, laughing assembly of what should be impossible stuff. Even the screen you're watching, the air you're breathing, your own heartbeat, it's all built from atomic emptiness, woven with invisible forces. Life is possible because atoms are mostly space, not despite it. If you're as blown away as I am by the hidden architecture of our universe, stick around for the next video. We're diving one level deeper to the quirks of quarks and the wildest rules of quantum reality. What surprised you most about what's inside an atom? Let me know in the comments. Your questions might inspire our next episode. Next time you look in the mirror, remember, you're made of miniature mysteries, cathedrals of empty space held together by pure energy. The universe is inside you. So what's actually inside an atom? Not what you think. A dance of energy, an ocean of emptiness, and the promise that even the invisible can shape all of reality. The deeper you look, the stranger and more beautiful everything becomes. Want to know how the stuff inside atoms cooks up starlight, electricity, or even a black hole? Join us next time as we peel back the layers of the universe, one mystery at a time.